Jesus is alive. Beloved in the Lord, you are welcome to our 40-day Lent devotional series. Today is day 15 of the Lenten season, and our topic for reflection is the word of the Lord does not fail. The scripture for consideration can be found in Isaiah 45, 21 to 24. Easy to read version. Shall we hear the word of the Lord? Tell them to come to me. Let them present their case and discuss these things. Who told you about this before it happened? Who told you this so long ago? I, the Lord, am the one who said these things. I am the only God, the one who does what is right. I am the one who saves, and there is no other. So all you people in faraway places, tend to me and be saved, because I am God and there is no other. When I make a promise, that promise is true. It will happen. And I swear by my own power that everyone will bow before me and will take an oath to obey me. They will say, goodness and strength come only from the Lord. And all who show their anger against me will be humiliated. The word of the Lord. In several places in scripture, we find God inviting his people to come for various reasons. For forgiveness of sins, in Isaiah 1.18, he says, Come and let us reason together. To quench their thirst, he says in Isaiah 55.1, Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. For rest, he says in Matthew 11.28, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In today's scripture reading, we hear God invite his people to tend to him for salvation. He says to the people of Israel who had forsaken their covenant with him, tend to me and be saved. This is a call to salvation. We find a theme continued as Jesus says to us that he who comes to me I will in no wise cast out. John 6 37. In my father's house are many mansions. John 14 2. I go to prepare a place for you, John 14, 2. We further read from Paul in 1 Thessalonians 4, 15 to 17, that the Lord shall appear, the dead in Christ shall arise. We who are alive shall be caught up with them. We will be with the Lord forever. It is important that during this Lenten period, we remind ourselves of the need to make things right with God because he stands ready to receive us just as we are because he has promised and his word will not fail. There may be specific areas of our lives where we have approached God, trusting that he will come through for us because of what is written in his word or some conviction we have in our spirits inspired by his word. The assurance today is that God's word will not fail. As we wait upon him during this period of Lent, let us continue to humbly seek his will for our lives in every situation, trusting that he who promised can fulfill his word. Our situations may look bad, our hopes may appear dashed, because of our specific circumstances, but let us, like the hymnist, trust that any word he has spoken concerning us or any situation in our lives will surely prevail. MHP 511. We can trust God to fulfill his word concerning us because, among others, he has not called us to seek him in vain, he says in Isaiah 45 19. He swears by himself to do his will and is fulfill his word, Isaiah 45, 23. He is not a man that he should lie, Numbers 23:19. Indeed, sometimes it is only God who can do certain things and he promises not to disappoint. He says in Isaiah 45, 21, I am the only God, the one who does what is right. Isaiah 45, 24, the New King James Version says, In the Lord alone, our deliverance and strength. We need to let our faith in God and in His Word show in how we live, work, interact with the world around us, serve in the house of the Lord and in our various places of work, share the Word of God with others, etc. As we wait on the Lord, 
Let us pray for the grace to live out our faith in God's word in the assurance that whatever he has said, it will not fail. Dear Lord, thank you that you are a faithful God, Father and friend. May you give us grace to trust you and wait patiently for the fulfillment of your word in our lives. May our lives display our faith in your word, which will not fail. Beloved, the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. <music>